All right, team, welcome back to the channel. Just you, me, and this banana. I couldn't keep her away. I, I've, I've, I've been trying to keep her out of the picture for a couple of videos, but she just Such insisted that she come out tonight. She begs. And I love spending time with her. That part's not fake. But today is episode 39. I want to let you know. <laughs> I don't know why I thought you were about to say, today is our wedding anniversary. It's not. It's not even close. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> it's in September, and I know the day. I will not forget. I'm, I'm going to announce right now that this is gonna be one of the last two videos that I make for the Quarantine Chronicles. The way that you said it, the way you like drew that out made it sound like it was the last video on this channel. It's no, like, no, it's not the last video on the, the channel. Just the Quarantine Chronicles. But of the Quarantine Chronicles, this is going to be one of the last two. The last one will be episode 40, which we will try to make as epic as possible. Do you notice how at the start of the new year or just when the year was ending, everyone was doing those clickbaity titles of like, this is, like goodbye YouTube, my last video. Oh yeah, such. And cool. it was really just because it was their last video of the year. I was like, shut the heck up. And we're getting all these terrible dashes come through. Yes, there's been a lot of bad dashes have come through. We just accepted one for 2.7 miles for 750. After declining a few, like they were kind of on the fence. And the thing was like, they were at high dollar value. Yeah. And so don't get tricked by that when you see something come through for 11 bucks. Because if it's 11.5 miles, like, screw that. That's less than $2 a yeah, mile. We're about to hit this. It is currently, uh, no, don't take it. Don't Wrong take it. Wrong the other way. So it's uh, 640. We're officially going to be off and running. I finally updated the time. So the time that you see, the timestamp on uh, the Vantro camera is accurate. Uh, it hasn't been like the last six videos. That's funny. Let's go make some money. Does anyone else eat the white stuff on the inside of the skin of the banana? Or just me? No, not a single other person. That's the part that nobody wants. Oh, that's the best part. Okay, we're gonna work on it from the track. Hold on, before, I just wanna see where the drop off is before I send you in. Okay, it's just done linking. Okay, while my wife is picking this one up, I just accepted a McDonald's order on her phone, a mile total for 650 and it's on our way. So this is gonna be Essentially like driving zero miles because it's not it's literally adding zero feet to the trip So he had an accent and I was like I thought I was hoping maybe he was Italian And I was gonna be all excited and tell him like oh my husband's a quarter Italian And he always tells people that he's Italian but, He uh, tells people he's Italian. He's yeah. not Italian <laughs> But he was an Italian accent. He said he was Mexican but he totally could have passed for Italian, like he, because so the place is called Papa Joe. He just looked like someone that would have been the Papa Joe. Better like, ingredients, <laughs> better pizza, Papa Joe's. But I'm not great with accents, so it's like to me he could have been Italian. Listen, lady, if you got an accent, then you're probably Italian. Yeah. You're probably. If you have, an, if you have an accent and you're running a pizza place. If you got an accent. I'm gonna assume you're Italian. <laughs> You dress like a plumber in an 8-bit video game and you work at a pizza place, you're probably a dad. He was a really cute old man though. He was adorable. Does anyone say Italian? I feel like I- Pass the ball to the Italians. Yeah. No, Mike Dicka does in uh, Kicking oh, okay. and Screaming. That's where I, why I have it in my head. Italian? Yeah, no. Look at the drive through So you'll probably be able to pick it up inside, but- Should I I'd... say that we've arrived? Yeah. So normally we'd probably just cancel a McDonald's order where the drive through is like 15 plus cars long, but I know for sure that we can go inside this McDonald's. So turns out we're going to just drop this one off first. I know I said it was on the way, but this, we got a 0.4 miles to drop this one off. Can I vent? Yeah, yeah. What is wrong with people who live in apartment buildings? So I went in there. And of course, with these apartment, massive apartment complexes, like you can either walk this way or you can walk that way. So I kind of walked a little in this direction. The suite number that I was looking for was 33, and I can see the 20. So I'm like, okay, it's going to be over here. So I go upstairs to where I can see the high 20s, and I'm walking along and walk around the corner. All of a sudden, it's in the 70s. It goes from 20s to 70s, just like that. I'm like trying to call this person and it took three times before they answered the phone like three different times of me calling thankfully they finally had the phone but and on the on the call she's like oh yeah you know they numbered it really weird out here because it wasn't coherent at all and I was like dude if you, you know, know that you already that, know that 
Like, why don't you come and meet me at the front? Like, if you know that your apartment complex is really confusing and numbered all weird and chaotically, gosh, like, don't make me run around like the whole maze. It's frustrating. So it's past the pickup time and I'm still waiting inside the McDonald's. It's taken a little while. Got it all wrapped up in a nice little package. Hi ho, hi ho. They didn't have it ready. Yeah, I could tell. It was supposed to be picked up at 6.53. Which is why I'm, I'm glad we went and did the other one first. What's, what's your delivery well, number? Well, the, the McDonald's was picked up first. Yeah, let's do yours first. And there's food in that. There's probably just yeah, drinks yeah. in this. All it is is a two liter of soda. Well, yeah, then yeah, it's right. not going to get cold. So far, not the best night. Had to cancel an order uh, on a restaurant I forgot was going to take a lot longer than I thought. And just none of the orders we've taken so far are really that large. Hey, want to thank all of you who have gone over and checked out my wife's channel. If you haven't, please go ahead and click to check out her channel right here and go ahead and subscribe. If you're interested in what we're doing when we're not on the clock and doing this, you definitely want to head over there. We got some fun adventures. She has a ton of content that she's going to be posting over the next few months. So, and I have she, a mime now. And she's go, full. Go and subscribe to my mime channel. And, and she's full of emotion. So, thanks, guys. Yeah, I swear, like half my sub count now is just people that follow Eric's channel here. So I don't know how that's going to do for my analytics. Because I mean, I don't know if you guys are like subbing and watching, or you just subbing to be. I really appreciate it. Done? Yeah, oh, dang. Alright, so we've reached kind of an impasse. I'm not really sure why. We're doing okay. It doesn't seem like we're having a great night. We're on 39 bucks in an hour and 15 minutes. So, I mean, still shooting a pretty good clip, a little over 30 bucks Have an hour. It's felt slow. It's felt had, super slow. Because we haven't had any double dash. Yeah, we haven't That's had a single, why. we haven't even had an opportunity for a double dash. Yeah, I'm, I'm not dissatisfied with our performance, yeah, but right now we, we, we've gone like, like t I've gone almost 10 minutes without getting a, a request come through. I've closed my app several times. It sounds like time is interesting. Oh, I thought you were about to get one. No, it's been pretty good. Hey, Hi. hey! I'm just letting you know where I am. I I didn't even pull in. I couldn't even get in. So I just I okay. U-turned and I went across the street. I gotta try to get in see if it's even ready. Oh, is it like that hard to get in? There's a line, yeah. Hey, I got it. Oh right. Amazingly, they had it ready. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna U-turn and I'll come back to you, but I'm not gonna pull in, okay? Okay, yeah. I'll just meet you at like the entrance. <laughs> I'm yeah, so yeah. shocked and amazed that the food was ready because the last time that we went to that same taco place, it took so long for right. to be ready that we, we went, went and did, did a, different a whole other dash yep. and came back and I and to get it. And this time I went in and they're having a classic car show right. in that parking lot. So, so I just assumed like, oh geez, everyone's gonna be going to that. Oh place. yes, they were packed. It was like hard to even get in. I had to like squeeze through people and they're like, sorry, just picking up. And the food was ready. I'm so shocked. Like, what the heck? Hey, we'll, we'll take it. We're not complaining. A bunch of Reddit users got together and decided to show up for a <laughs> car show. <laughs> pretty much. All right, we're able to squeeze this uh, El Pollo Loco on my wife's phone because it's pretty much on the way. Man, it's so dumb. I had to decline like five decent orders because they were just going in the opposite way. But them's the break. Sometimes it's just going to happen. You're just going to luck out. You're going to get two different restaurants and two phones that are basically going the same way. And sometimes you don't. That's okay, you gotta be smart. Make sure you're not accepting them because it's too good of an order to pass up. Because if it's going opposite direction, you gotta remember you're gonna be doubling back. Doesn't work, doesn't work. People are pissed, screws over your time. It doesn't work. Oh, boy, look, that was super fast. And now we're back to the car. But this worked out because she's already coming. This only took two minutes. All right, little lady. Yeah, that was awesome. That was great. Yeah, I'm like so grateful for these ones that have the walk-in option. Yeah, like why wouldn't they? Yeah. Especially for pickup, like it's all for a dedicated delivery driver to have to wait in the drive-thru oh, line. Geez. That customer gave me a soap on my way out, which is crazy because I actually need hand soap right now. I 
my damn head is back out. Okay. She gave me a, a soap. A what? She gave me soap. How much does the soap worth? I don't know. So I thought to myself, I'm like, oh, I wonder if that's because she's not even cheap. But she must have been on cheap, so. Interesting. All right, I'll see it. Here's the soap. It's sunshine and lemons. I thought at <laughs> it's first- It's leprechauns and unicorns. I thought at first she was handing me like some hand sanitizer to get a pump. Is there, a, so there's a tip inside the soap, right? <laughs> no, she left a $3 tip on the app. <laughs> but yeah, I thought to myself, oh, I wonder if maybe she didn't leave a tip and she was like giving me this. Yeah, I gotta give her stick. something. <laughs> no, that was super nice. And I did what you said. I called as soon as I got out of the car. And so, and I'm glad that I did because, oh my goodness, I would never have found, I would have been in there for like 20 minutes. So she she's she's on to it. To she's getting on to it. <laughs> she directed me where to go and maybe she thought we built her rapport over the phone and she <laughs> gave me a gift. That's, this is Pregnant. my first DoorDash gift. Well, we actually kind of need soap. I know. We I was actually... just saying, like, this is crazy because totally need, totally need soap right now because we've been using those gross bars, soap like, soap, which I don't this like. weird, like, homemade soap bars made out of like it's like olive oil soap and it makes your hands feel coated and i don't yeah. feel like it's cleaning it uh, so it's an epic win so, for everyone yeah yay so now you're glad you came off i wonder if that lady is just like really in tune and just somehow knew that i needed so comment did, down below has anyone ever given you did, a gift did she know i need stock tips <laughs> before everyone drives up the price like GameStop? <laughs> But honestly, like, comment below, like, has anyone ever given you a gift when you've been dashing or giving you something weird instead of a, instead of a tip or maybe as well as a tip? I'm super curious now to, to hear if anyone else has gotten, like, random things while dashing. I hope this continues. This is fun. It's like Christmas. It's just Does it smell nice? Christmas decorations up. Um, sunshine and lemons. I hope it smells nice. I'm, like, shoving the thing up my nostril. Oh. It smells nice. It smells like cinnamony though. It's cool. China Wall, they close within one hour of when you arrive. Oh, you should better hurry up with the food there. What do we got going on? Oh, jeez. Oh. Yep, that's going to be it. Yeah. Now, why wouldn't they put it? Because we're going to that same restaurant. Yeah, interesting, right? We finally hit the mother load. Well, if, if you could call it that. We're, uh, we got two orders from the same Chinese restaurant, China Wall. It's actually the Great Wall of China, but they can call the restaurant whatever they want. There are one on each phone, and I think we're gonna be basically done after this. We're gonna open a China Wall restaurant, and we're gonna make America pay for it. Being the China Wall restaurant, they were super fast, and it smelled really yummy in there. <laughs> the one on my phone is the one, the bigger bag, because the one on your phone he only had one item. All right. So mine's leave at the door. I noticed that. Buffalo Wild Wings had started up outdoor dining again. Oh, really? Because for a, a few weeks there, they weren't doing it. Well, I saw like, the last time I had to pick up at Buffalo, the, the sushi place had outdoor dining. It was mm -hmm. freezing cold, too, and there were people out. There were, like, four people eating there. I was like, holy frick, and there weren't heat lamps, either. It just shows you how much people, like people want, want to be outside. To be normal. Yeah. Like, like it was probably, like, under 50 degrees, right? Like, if you're in certain parts of the country, that's warm, but... Here, like that that's disrespectful you can ask me to sit outside yeah. normally right but like people want to eat at a restaurant so bad they still do it oh, that's mine the one on mine anthony m i also find it interesting why so many people will say don't knock my door or don't ring the doorbell Sorry. and i used to always think oh maybe they have a baby inside that's asleep uh, Can you guys think of like any other reasons why a person would say don't ring the doorbell, don't knock on the door? The only two things I can think of is either they're ordering the food for someone else and they want it to be a surprise or they have a baby asleep or kids asleep and they don't want to wake up or maybe they're a teenager that doesn't want to wake their parents up but it's, it's like just about to go 9pm so you definitely wouldn't have parents asleep at this point of the night. Yeah, I just don't know. Maybe their kids just went to bed and they don't want their kids to know that they ordered food. <laughs> <laughs> their kids got. <laughs> the kids are kids, gonna smell it. <laughs> their kids got broccoli and, and spinach and they just ordered uh, fast food. I think it might be. This might be the last one. <laughs> You're just like smelling the bag. You just dip your face in the bag. 
No, in their bag. Their bag's tied up. Oh, no, you just... dip your face in, a, in an empty bag that still has good scents in there? No, well, like, there is a delivery in there, but it's tied up on the bottom. Oh, in the bag. Oh, it's some but I was just like, right I just, like, put my face, like, at the top of the DoorDash bag to, like, breathe <laughs> it in. Hey, I'm not, I'm not faulting you. I'm, I feel like it's a worthy thing to do. It smells a bit like vinegar, though. Like, it smells like vinegar on chips is kind of what it smells like. Shop for the items at the store. Oh, wow, we've never done one. Of Should we do it? Maybe. Yeah, let's do it together. It's like. Let's do it together and we'll end it. Miles though. Yeah, but we're like driving kind of past the house in a few minutes, right? Okay, well, are we picking this up before we drive? No. So we're going to go in and do this one together just for funsies. Yeah, just for funsies. Like... So you'll come along with us. After we finish this yeah. dash, you'll come along for the Walgreens shopping for tour. For our first in store sh door dash shop. A his and hers shop tour. <laughs> customer tip. Oh, what? Wow. So that person just left a $10 customer tip on that. So it was supposed to be $10.79 and it ended up being higher. $10 tip. Wow. That's, I wonder if that's the highest in-app tip that we've gotten. I think so. We might have to cancel mine. I don't know. For a minute. Man. Text him back and say, I think uh, we delivered to the right house number, but on Lemon, not on Karen. Okay. This is so dang tough because this is where we have to come back to. But we have to make we have to make it right. All right, guys. Even uh, your greatest heroes are imperfect. This one is bad. This one is really bad. Uh, so it was a fifteen dollar order. They pay, they put a ten dollar tip on top of the order. Um, we delivered it. I thought to the right address, it was really dark. I couldn't see the, the street number we had turned on. It looked accurate on Jessica's phone and the house number yeah. was there. Cause the house numbers were identical on the two streets. They were both just like straight streets and the numbers were at identical spots on the street. So it appeared as though we were at the right house according to maps. So we of course the lady was pissed, rightfully so. Super you know, made, made, I don't know, you call them threats or whatever, but the only thing she oh, can do is leave us a bad review, which yeah. is really bad. So, well, like, the thing was, too, like, she waited several minutes before alerting us to the fact that we had delivered it to the wrong house. So, I mean, customers would get a notice straight away because it was one of those ones where I had to take a photo of it that I delivered it. She didn't want any knocking on the door. Um, but she waited several minutes before telling us. So we were already deep into another dash. And when she's texting us, like, these kind of angry messages and instantly at that point, well not instantly because it was several minutes later, but once she started messaging us then I also got another message through um, saying that she put in a report that we hadn't delivered it and then we got a message from DoorDash like warning us that, that we could get deactivated for something like that and then she's messaging as well saying as soon as I get the opportunity I'm going to rate you the lowest possible which is really freaking which, bad. Which is a one. You, you can't rate lower than a one. So we figured out what happened that we had actually delivered it to the identical like adjacent street um, and so we we told her that like apologized profusely um, you know let her know like we were so shocked and, like that this is this has never happened before and we were gonna drive back and fix it and she was like declined that offer and said that she'd already reordered so I mean I'm, I'm just assuming that DoorDash is gonna completely take that delivery away from us because I mean, it was our fault that we delivered it to the wrong place, like for sure. It's my bad. Um, it's my bad. The whole thing was kind of messy. It was made more difficult by the fact that it was a no knock, so you don't have that interaction with the customer to figure out you're at the right place. Um, and she waited several minutes before telling us, like if she'd said it straight away, we would have still been like probably a street over. We could have easily gone back, grabbed it from that doorstep and taken it to her. So it was just like made messier by the circumstances that really sucks that that happened at all mistake. That mistake. i'm not saying the that turn it... onto the street too was like really in it was dark it was dark yeah you couldn't see it yeah the next turn onto that street you, you couldn't even yeah. see it from the road i'm not saying it's an okay mistake but it makes it way easier when you have an interaction with the person like because it was a, a leave at my door and we left it the right house number we just assumed it was right yeah. And especially because okay. it lets you mark as delivered, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, the right house number, the app says good. But I don't want to, like, sound too much like we're trying to pass the buck. Like, it's No, no, it's our, our fault. fault. But I'm just saying it's a mistake that, that yeah. 
somebody else could have made. Like, it's not like, you know, delivered to an apartment complex, the door says 24 yeah. and you yeah, delivered it to like 25. Yeah, it delivered it to, like, the right? completely wrong number. And yeah, like, it's the right number. The map showed the wrong place. Like, it showed the right place and it showed the right number and it was, yeah. Uh, let us know if that's ever happened to you. You ever delivered food to the wrong place before? I know I've definitely delivered to the right place and uh, people tried to take the food that wasn't theirs. Um, but I've, I've never had this happen before. We, we've got like a thousand dashes, maybe more under our belt. I'm not exactly sure. So let me know your worst horror story. This is definitely ours. This is killing our earnings tonight. I don't even want to look at it. You know, it, it happens. That's mistakes happen. And I'm really, it's really unfortunate that it happened to these people and not like on a, on a $6 order. Like it, it's a bummer that it happened on a huge order because we're going to lose all that money that time and we get a bad rating and have a really angry customer from it. So it's just, it's it's honestly a bummer. But even with all that, so I knew that we were gonna be grossly late to do this Walgreens order. I text the customer, told him, hey, we delivered to the wrong house. I'm happy to do your order, but it's gonna be late. Is that okay? They said yes, otherwise I would have canceled it. But we're going in to Walgreens. So if you'd like to see what an indoor shopping experience from Walgreens looks like, Check out the separate video link right here where we covered just that. All right, you want okay, to go this in? is what I'm saying because I, I have to fill out this form so I don't get deactivated. So I said, customer waited several minutes before claiming we delivered to a neighbor. We offered to return and fix it and customer declined the offer. We're just about to drop off our very first in-store shopping DoorDash order from Walgreens. And after complex. this will be done for the night. Yeah, I'm so sorry, babe. Leave at my door, please confirm. Yeah, I don't know guys, I'm I'm really depressed and discouraged about what happened. It's just a mistake, right? People make mistakes, but it just seemed like just a bad omen that like on one of the best orders we've ever had, we made the mistake. And I just don't really know how to reconcile the way I feel. And feeling like, almost like I let you guys down because you know, the whole the whole purpose of this channel really is for, for me to kind of show you how easy and efficient and profitable doing this on your downtime is. And I just really feel like I've done everyone a disservice and like put that fear that man, this could happen to you. And this is why I always say I treat this, I, I treat this, everything I do like a job, right? I treat everything I'm doing for money, I treat it like a professional because that's what, I, while I'm doing this, this is my job. But this is a side hustle. And the reason why it's important that you examine like how you spend your time and, and what's happening with your time is because with what happened, DoorDash sent us that message that, you know, you, hey, you do stuff like this, we can deactivate you. That I'm solely dependent on DoorDash for the money that I can I can earn. There's not like the California driver app that I can log into and I get orders sent to that phone. I can be a, a you know, a, a, a real independent contractor, right? Like this is completely contingent on DoorDash allowing me to operate on their platform. And, and knowing that I'm I'm not free, right? That I'm not I'm not solely free. That does weigh in the back of my mind to realize like everything that I'm doing needs to be to an end to make it so I'm free. Because it doesn't feel good to have this this fear in the back of your mind that somebody can take away my job just like that because of one mistake. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen. I really hope that doesn't happen. Though it was a pretty large order with a a pretty big tip on top and the, the earnings were good. But make sure that as you're doing this, right? If you're out there, if you're watching this and you're interested in door dashing for the first time, or you've been doing this for a while, you're just looking for tips and tricks, or you just kind of like watching us, make sure when you're out doing this that you recognize that it is a means to an end, right? Yeah. That that we we are doing this not because we, we want to be professional door dashers for the rest of our life, but because we know this this provides us an opportunity when we're not working regular jobs that'll help fuel the things we really want to do in life. And if you have that mentality that what you're doing is a means to an end, you're going to recognize, you know, that this isn't the end of the world. I Because my goal is to be free. My goal is to be independent, you know, from from all things under heaven, right? That our, our goal is that we can financially secure for ourselves that freedom. So anyways, I hope that puts your mind at ease. I know I'm we're both kind of freaking out a little bit about it. But it doesn't feel good because, you know, for most of us, we want to do a good job you know yeah. we want to do a good job we want to feel proud of, of the, the work that we've done so it feels really crummy knowing that we screwed up in a big way 
knowing that someone's mad at us especially like when we're the kind of people that really do try hard to do a good job and complete things to the best of our ability it sucks to realize oh crap like yeah we actually screwed up and this is all on us like but let this be a lesson to anyone watching be careful like there's there's no reason to fear like oh this could happen to me just be careful when you're out there like the mistake that was made tonight could have been it shouldn't have been made but it could have been made by anyone anyway to make us feel better please sub to this channel please go sub to my channel boost our spirits after this negative um turn of events leave me a comment and let doordash know that you don't want me to get deactivated can you do that for me you're the one with the channel you're the one you're the one with the channel that's true well uh fun fact about eric he just is constantly making up songs like he did just then just constantly making up songs about anything and he's actually shockingly good at rhyming on the spot yeah it's all my time on the streets uh you know the, those rap battles paying off no i used to be a singer and a songwriter and so it's like crazy to me having come from a songwriting background how amazingly good he is he's way better than me at traffic doing it on traffic the fly. looking for my chapstick there's a Ford Maverick. That's a million dollar record right there. Name that movie. Oh, was that from a movie? Yeah, from oh, I thought you just made that up. I was like, wow, dang, Eric. <laughs> no, it's a, that's a coyote. Holy frick. Wow. Yeah, that's straight up a coyote right there. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, guys, we're back at the house. It is 1015. We were out exactly three hours and 35 minutes. I'm certain we would have been home close to a half an hour sooner. It was going well. I felt like we were having a nice, yeah, stress-free night really well. until that second-to-last order. Yeah. I'm not sure how much we made, but you know what? It like I like I said before, them's the breaks. Whatever, we'll go in and we'll tally the the hourly earnings. I'm not sure how good they were. I do not believe they were thirty dollars an hour tonight. I think it was probably somewhere around the high twenties, and that's with our mistake. Again, I'm counting that. $15 plus order that we delivered to the wrong house uh, in our earnings because we delivered it. If DoorDash takes it away later, so be it. It's, yeah. it's going I in the kitty. I feel so physically ill about this right now. Like, I, I just feel like, oh, like I could throw up. Will a neck massage make it better? No. All right, guys, let's go inside and do the math. Let's take our soap inside. <laughs> All right, we're going in. All right, guys, quick earnings report. Here's what I made on five deliveries. Here's my wife's earnings right here on seven deliveries, 12 deliveries total. We made $104.22 in three hours and 35 minutes of work. That comes out to just over $29 an hour. That's pretty good considering some of the setbacks. It would have been closer to 35 bucks an hour and 100% happy customers, but it is what it is, guys. I hope you appreciate the video. I hope you know that not every day is sunshine and lemons like the soap that we got but uh, usually it's pretty good, and I think that we're probably gonna survive this event. So uh, if you got, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. As always, God bless and have a great night. We'll see ya.